Former LDS Bishop Bill Real here. I was going back and looking at the church's periodicals, and uh, I wanted to share with you an article by Marion G. Romney. He was in the first presidency. We sustained him as a prophet, seer, and revelator. And in his talk, uh, we believe in being chaste. Uh, if we go down to a spot here, notice uh, this story. Um, he was talking about going on his mission. He was talking about going, getting on the train to leave. And he says, in three minutes, I would be on my way to Australia to fill a mission. In that short interval, my father said to me, among other things, my son, you're going to be a long way from home. Your mother and I and your brothers and sisters will be with you constantly in our thoughts and prayers. We shall rejoice with you in your successes, and we shall sorrow with you in your disappointments. When you are released in return, we shall be glad to greet you and welcome you back into the family circle. But remember this, my son. We would rather come to this station and take your body off the train in a casket than to have you come home unclean, having lost your virtue. We'd rather, we would rather take your body off the train in a casket than have you uh, come home having lost your virtue. Now, as if that isn't bad enough, I mean, that sounds to me like, look, if you do something where you sin and make a mistake, uh, you, you might want to consider just dying, committing suicide. And that to me seems tragic enough, but then you have the audio from Marky e. Peterson that does the same thing. The leaders of our church have said that they would rather see their children dead and in their graves clean than to have them live an unclean life. Virtue is more important to you than your life. Protect it above your life. If the time ever comes when you must choose between the two, then sacrifice your life, but under no circumstance, sacrifice your virtue. <laughs>